previous video, we saw that you can select multiple objects. But wouldn't it be nice if you could um, kind of group the objects so if you picked one, you could get them all at once instead of having to deal with all that? Well, of course you can do that, right? We have something called grouping. So I have these objects already on the artboard for you. So if you grab this, you see that it's just one single object. Um, but say I wanted to grab them all, we can use either of the techniques we learned. By dragging that out, we can shift click on each one we want to select. Doesn't matter. Um, another tip for selecting things, if you hit Command A, uh, you will select everything. But of course, there's a problem there that I have everything selected. So we don't want to do that. So let's um, grab these three objects and we want to turn them into a group. And there's two main ways to do this. You can go to Object Group and just you know hit this right here. Um, and now, see if I click off them and I go to grab one, all three are selected. Another way that we could do it is um, to use the quick keys, of course, which is Command G. And that's how I always do it, right? You'll, you'll learn these quick keys the more you use these programs because it, it helps make work so much faster. Now, the group next to it is already grouped. So how do we ungroup those? Well, that's as simple as when you have a group, you can say Object Ungroup. You can hit Command Shift G. And of course, I click off it, and now you see that I have this. Another thing about groups that you should know is isolation mode. And I believe I showed this in another video. But let me group these things. And now, say I wanted to move this one or edit this one in some way without affecting others. If I double click in there, notice up here we see we're in this, this mode here. We see we're in the group. So I can grab that one, change it, double click off it, and it's still a group. It changed there. So that's something you, you may wind up doing at some point. But grouping is definitely something you'll do a lot using Adobe Illustrator.